We're out here in our lavender patch and I'm getting ready to uh, lay out a tape, mark the, the holes. You can do this to whatever spacing you want. Um, but what we're gonna do is burn holes in this landscape fabric and then we don't have to deal with the weeds. So we have lavender here. Um, I'll show you guys sometime we have helichrysum over in the greenhouse. And so what we're looking for, uh, this is, this is uh, four foot fabric. And what's really nice is it comes with these spacing lines and we want a perfect circle um, without having the frayed edge. That way, just the longevity is a lot better. Um, so let's uh, check out how to do this. Once you have your tape laid out, just go along and spray. Um, it's really helpful to have an inverted can with the holder like I'm using and a long tape so you're not bending over the whole time. Once you have those marked, uh, I just use a normal weed burner. Uh, I wired a coffee can on the end of it that I cut the bottom out of. It's really key to get all the rim all the way around the can nice and hot so it burns clean holes. These first ones, the can wasn't quite hot enough and I had to redo them several times, uh, but that's no big deal. Once I got going, the can was nice and hot and it was burning straight through. I did this little section, which was probably close to 100 holes and it only took 10, 15 minutes. You can see here the can's nice and hot burns and it just leaves a shriveled up piece of fabric right in the middle uh, which after you're all done you go and pick those up and uh, that's uh that's about all there is to it so a little bit of garbage to throw away nice clean holes we'll get lavender planted in this occasionally if one doesn't burn off all the way i have to take a knife and uh, just just trim that off here's a nice lavender plant that uh, you can see we've had to weed these a couple times but once they get big enough they out compete and we're putting water uh, just directly overhead for the lavender, they don't mind that. Uh, here's the section, we haven't planted the end yet, but you see some more mature plants on the left and then the ones we planted in the fall last year uh, coming up in the middle there, all looking nice and healthy. And then here's the helichrysum. We had to use uh, drippers with this, but same situation, uh, no weeding once you get nice and established these big plants. So I, I hope that was a helpful video to you. Um, I really highly recommend using this method. Uh, we've really benefited a lot not having to weed um, all this huge area. So you get the water exactly where you want it. The fabric helps retain the moisture. Um, just It's just a win all around. So thanks. Consider subscribe. Uh, like the video. We'll be putting out a lot more content soon.